For create a new project in the Cinema 4D, you should go to File menu and then click on the new. Very good. We have a new project now. At the top, we have a menu. Under that, we have some tools. And here we have some tools about polygons. And here is a timeline for animation. And here is a material panel. And here is object panel. And here is a properties panel. Okay. If you want change your workspace in the Cinema 4D, you should go to here, layout, and click on this pop-up, and then here you can see some preset. The first is animate. When you click on it, the panel is changed for animation, and for example here for body paint, or for motion tracker or um, for modeling okay for now I'm gonna to change it to standard and here we have project setting as a default frame um, it have 30 frame per second you can change these numbers for now 30 is good and my project contain 90 frame you can see from 0 to 90 if you need more frames just change this number for example change it to 180 and change this number to 180 and now here you can see it change from 0 to 180 frame or you can change this number from here for example, if I change it to 90, change here to. Okay, for curate the object, you can select and click on this cube. When you create a new object here, we can see that objects adding this objects panel and with three axes you can change your object for example if you select this move now you can select and change the position of your object change it from Y or Z or X and if you want change size and change scale you should select this item and change scale and for rotating your object you should select under rotate and then rotate your object X, Y, and Z. And if you select on the center of the circle, you can rotate, free rotate your object like this. Again, go back to move object here. We have three circle here, red circle. If you select on it, you can change the scale from just for example here is Y or here if you select that you can change the size for X and here you can change the size for Z or again when you click on the cube here you can change the size here here you can select hold it and drag or you can put a specific number for example 50 50 and 50 it's really good if you want to see segment in the cinema 4 the R20 you should here go to display and click on 
guard shading very good and then when we change segment from x y and z for example select and um, oh it's not selecting again go to display and now select on this okay now we can see these numbers number of segment or here you can put your number for example 10 10 and 10 that's really cool and now here we have four items first when you click and hold it now you can change your camera from X and Y and next here if you click on it you can roll in and roll out your camera and with this item if you click and hold it now you can turn around your object and you can turn um, rotate your camera it's very good and the four when you click on it you can see here perspective view top view front view and here is right view it's very useful for example if you want to create another cube and now if you want adjust your um, objects here you can very easily change it from top you can change scale and here in the front you can change the scale here it's very good and in the right you can change and adjust your objects it's very cool and another thing you should know is here the preview panel or viewport panel here the numbers from between F1 to F4 if you click on it F1 is about perspective now when you press F2 you can see it changed to top now press F3 it changed to right and now when you press F4 you can see this front view you can change it very fast and now again press on the F1 you can see this perspective view okay now I'm gonna to create um, another new project now go to file and then click on the new um, and I want to create another cube for example this cube now if you want change between your project you should go to window menu and then here you can see your you have um, three project here now just click on this and you can choose which project you want work on it or for example this is my project I was um, created that and you can download it from project again go to window and then you can change your um, project very fast here that's really good okay in this project you can see I have um, some objects here for example tools, a sphere um, camera um, camera target or light extrude text and here all tags uh, and this tags is about a material another thing that um, you should know if you want um, a preview uh, a render from this frame you can use this icon when you click on the render view it's render this frame and we can see what's happening that's good 
another thing you should know some objects here have check mark that means this layer is enabled if you click on this and now we can see this layer is disabled now again when you click on it you can change it to check mark now like this and here we have um, two circle you can see each layer here have two circle what's that mean the first circle if you click on it it changed to green and again when you click on it it changed to red when it changed to red here we can see this object but when we render our viewport we can see it will be show in the final rendering but again when you click on it it change to default and this circle if you click on it change it to green and again click on it and change it to red that means we can see our object here but when we render it we can see this object and it just show us in the designing okay again click on it to go to default very good in the cinema 4d r20 you can see some um, items here the color of that is yellow here the color about uh, all them is yellow what's that that means these are um, new future these are new features in uh, in this version of cinema 4d for example here is r20 if you go to edit and then click on the preferences here in the highlight features if you open it here you can see um, we have uh, another options for example if you want to see all new features in um, in r18 just click on r18 and you can see this yellow items change or for example change it to r90 you can see what are um, new features is in r90 or when we change it to r20 we can see these new items in this version and here if you click on reset highlights it's again show all of these new features in the cinema 4d because when we click um, about six times in new features it's automatic fade out and change this yellow to this gray color but if we change um, again click on the reset highlights we can see all new features again in this version of cinema 4d and here in this item uh, in this window in the preferences interface here in the scheme if uh, we can change from dark to light and you can see it changed to light but i don't like it uh, i'm gonna to change it to dark i think it's much better and then here in the content browser um, if you click on this in the presets if you install all contents about um, cinema 4d you can see for example in body paint you can see some objects are here um, but um, i think in this area okay here for example these items or um, this example scenes we can see some example scenes and presets in the cinema 4d you can download it free in uh, from um, maxon website and download it and um, install it or update it from a menu help menu and then check for updates and then just install your your updates to see 
all pre uh, presets, models, and other things here. Very good. Again, come back to objects. And here, um, I was create a very simple animation in the Cinema 4D that when we um, change our indicator, we can see what's happening here. Or here, when we play that, we can see our animation. Okay. In the next video, I will teach you all these items and I will create another video for these items and all things. You will learn all things in Cinema 4D in this course.